Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. So when I did the intro or overview video of the Korg SV-1, I promised that I would uh, do a follow-up video which would uh, cover the editor that ships with this. Now the editor is a piece of software that takes all these knobs and buttons that you use on stage to control your sounds and takes it a further dimension. So in addition to what you have here in these knobs and buttons to control your sounds with, you add a lot more with that editor. More than you can imagine. So let's get right down to it. It's a piece of software that runs on your computer and communicates with this with a USB cable. And when you finish editing whatever it is that you're editing, you can go ahead and save it so that you have it available to you when you're on stage the next time. So without further ado, here we go. All right, so when you fire up the SV-1 editor, this is the screen that you're going to be looking at. And it runs on your PC or your Mac or whatever. So when you look at the SV-1 keyboard, Everything you need is pretty much right here on the keyboard. All the knobs and buttons that you need for real time or even in your studio can accomplish pretty much everything that you needed to do. However, when you go over to the SV-1 editor, you have a lot more control available to you than you have on the board itself. So, for example, you know, you can turn on or off any of these sections right here with the press of a button. And you can do the same thing when you're over at the editor. So if I turn this off over here in the EQ section, it turns off over on the screen as well. If I turn it on, it turns back on. Same thing with the pre-effects, off, on, and so on and so forth. So basically, Using the board and the editor together, they complement each other. All right, so let's start out with the different sections, and we'll start out with the equalizer section. The equalizer section on the board has an on-off switch, and it also has bass, mid-range, and treble knobs over here for you. It's all you really need during a live performance or a studio performance to get the perfect EQ you want in real time on the fly. But when you go over to the editor, you'll notice there's an extra thing over here. This is so that you have a sweepable mid-range. So here you go. You can set the frequency that you're aiming at and then go ahead and set the mid-range as you need. So that's a really cool thing to do over here. The next section on the board is the pre-effects. And on the pre-effects, again, on and off. And then you have compressor, boost, U-Vibe, vibrato, tremolo, and your Vox Wah with your auto pedal. All right? And when you go over here to the pre-effects, on the actual editor, yeah, you can turn it on and off over here. But in addition to the speed and intensity that you have over here, you have the same speed, but instead of the intensity knob, you've broken down into depth and mix. So you have a little bit more control by using two different variables here rather than one. And over here with this drop down, you can pick, pick whichever one of these parameters that you want to work with. Okay. And the next one over here is the amp model. And looking at the board, you've got the amp model. You can turn it on and off. And you've got six different amp models to work with. Amp 1 through Amp 5, as well as an organ amp. And then you've got the drive knob. The drive knob controls the 12AX7 vacuum tube over here. So you can warm it up or you can really overdrive it, as I demonstrated with the uh, previous video, the intro to the SV-1. So when you come over here to the amp model on the SV-1 uh, editor that's running over here, 
you can turn it on and off just like you can over here but look at how it breaks things down you've got the pre volume the amp volume bass mid treble and present and they have a tube up here to remind you that you can deal with that vacuum tube right here and as far as the amps rather than just dealing with amp one through amp five and an organ amp they actually have some names for them here for you the clean combo the california the tweed the vox ac30 the modern overdrive and the organ amp so if i pick one of these you'll notice how these things change in their values and if you go to tweed you'll notice that that changes their values over here too so basically you have a lot more control over here and it's really cool because you can fine-tune what you're looking for using this sv1 editor you know you can have a great time using the board itself but really if you want to fine-tune and tweak everything that's the way to go and over here uh, we're looking at the cabinet and the power attenuation program level and noise reduction sensitivity over here. And this is something that you don't have on this board over here. So here's some more controls. You pick the cabinet that you want, black 2x12, Box AC 15, 1 by 12, box AC 30, 2 by 12, and so on and so forth, where basically it's the number of speakers and what size those speakers are. So, you know, it, it's really cool over here. And then again, you have control over the power attenuation, the program level, and the noise reduction sensitivity. Coming over to the effects section over here. And over here, you've got modulation effects with six different effects to choose from. Chorus 1, Chorus 2, Phaser 1, Phaser 2, Flanger, and Rotary. And you can turn that rotary on and off and adjust the speed for uh, fast or slow. And the intensity over here as well. But coming over here to this section, you have speed, depth manual and mode all right and then you have modulation on or off, reverb and when you click on that now you have controls over time low gain high gain pre-delay and mix and coming over here to the total effects that threshold out ceiling and release so there's a lot of stuff and, and when you click on these further drop downs you have even more choices over here. All right? So just to give you an idea of just how much more fine control over this instrument you have by using the SV1 editor, in addition to and above and beyond the knobs and buttons that you have over here in the physical SV1 itself. Now you come down here to the bottom, there's a tuning curve, and C4, which is highlighted here, that's middle C, uh, the frequency over here is shown as 262.53 hertz, and you can select pretty much any other key over here, and you've got a drop down here, you've got some stretch tuning available to you, now if you hit edit, you can go ahead and fine tune that tuning by six cents or up to six cents on either side. You can reset it, you can store it, whatever. Then we come over here to the touch curve and basically you have that available over here too and to do that you hit on touch over here and then you press one of these one through eight buttons to select what touch curve you want. Now, unless you can remember what each one of these one through eight buttons means, 
it helps a lot by going into the SV1 editor and choosing that yourself because here it's labeled. You have normal, soft one, soft two, medium one, medium two, hard one, hard two, and fixed. So you can choose whatever you want over here to fine tune and basically you pretty much only do it once because you know what kind of touch velocity that you like. You do it once and then you save it globally and you're done. Alright, so and we come to this global section over here with the transpose up to minus 12 or plus 12 semitones. You do the same thing over here. You've got a transpose button and you can use the, the board to set that up with, but it's so much easier to do it here. And as far as MIDI, you can select which channel, 1 through 15, that you want to use to send and receive your MIDI data with. Okay? And over here, now the Korg SV1, like I said before, it has six different sound categories, and each one of those categories has six different variations. So six selections of sounds within each sound category, six times six gives you 36 different sounds. And over here, all of those 36 different sounds are spelled out for you. So you can just go ahead and like the first six over here, you can see our electric piano one, the next six, 2.1 to 2.6, are electric piano two, and the next six are clouds, and the next six after that are pianos, and so on and so forth. So you can see exactly what you're doing here. Right now I got it set up for piano. <laughs> I can change that over here, or I can change that in the editor. So if I want to go for some kind of strings, I just click on it over here, and it changes it over here. Yeah, if I click on it over here, again it changes it over here. Really cool. So once you're done setting everything up, and I don't want to leave this on now. Let me just go back to piano because that's what I like. Yeah. Alright, good. So we'll keep it at that piano. Grand piano one, which is actually the Japanese piano, and that's a Yamaha, by the way, and if I go over to Grand Piano 2, which is actually a Steinway Model D, see whatever I choose over here as far as my instrument and then I go ahead and modify it using either the knobs and buttons on the board itself which will affect the editor and all the additional knobs and buttons and whatever on the editor once I'm satisfied with everything I can write that current preset which will change it on the keyboard and if I've changed some global settings and everything, I can change it globally here. I just do the right click, right as in W-R-I-T-E, not as in left, right. And it saves everything to the board here. And if I changed up a lot of stuff, you know, I can back up all SV1 data before I go ahead and make any changes. All right, now there's a couple other tabs over here. There's the RX Noise Layer tab, which you don't have over here, but basically the RX Noises are basically a 
collection of the noises, the mechanical noises you would have on an instrument. And you can do all that kind of tailoring over here. Uh, you turn that on, you can change the volume of how much you want this to be heard by. Uh, you, can, you can bypass the effects. And then you have an equalizer just for the RX level noises as well. You can turn that on, and you can adjust the bass, the mid, treble, and you've got to sweep a whole mid-range again. And then there's the backup tab, which I think they really mislabeled this. This should be labeled as a file tab. Because when you click on this, now you've got all these different things. New, open, close. Save, Save As, Transmit, Cut, Copy, Paste, Delete, Preview, and it's got a picture of the SV1 here. So, if I go ahead and open something, now, this comes with the factory presets that are loaded into the SV1, but they also have two different sound packs. they got a sound pack number one and a sound pack number two. So if I wanted to go ahead and load sound pack number two, I'd open that up and you can see that I've got 36 instruments that are different than what I had before. And then I can go ahead, if I don't want to make any changes, uh, I can go ahead and transmit this to my SV1. And then all of a sudden the SV1 becomes the 36 sounds of the sound pack 1. And I can do the same thing with the sound pack 2. So if I open, I can open up the sound pack 2 and go ahead and make any changes over here that I want. Um, go back to the backup section, which should really be the file section. And go ahead and transmit that so everything gets... Uh, written to the board to reflect the sound pack too. All right. So basically that's pretty much it in a nutshell for what you can do with this. And when you come over here, you can write the current preset, you can write global, you can back up all SV1 data to your hard drive. There's a lot going on over here. And I love this keyboard. It is the coolest looking keyboard on the planet. I just can't get over how cool it looks. And all of the different sounds, that those vintage sounds, that you can get to just with the push of a button. And what you can do behind the scenes with this SV1 editor. So, whenever you're preparing for a gig, everything you need to customize what you need is right here between the board and the SV1 editor. Alright, so I hope this has been of value to you. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.